Well, how do you feel? Oh, I know it does, dear. But it's for a good cause. Uh, try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Now, how would you describe the pain you're feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? And remember, this is for posterity. Oh, well, aren't you a grouchy one today? What got you in such a bad mood? Oh yeah, the massive physical trauma. Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now, hold still. Go quit fidgeting. Ugh, how can you be walking around like this? Okay, I even stitched a little smiley face in you to keep up your spirits. It's kind of hard to see from your side though. Here, take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks, and it should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. There's a sort of mole rat repellent I've developed. I need it to be tested on a few mole rats before I can say it's a success. There's a lot we don't know about Mirelurks and how intelligent and dangerous they are. That definitely deserves research. And that should be it for the second chapter. Which do you want to check out? Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. Don't worry about the chemicals. I handle them all the time while experimenting. And I'm perfectly fine, aren't I? How about I let you have the leftover chems I used to make it? Heck, do a thorough job, and maybe I'll let you keep the repellent itself. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator, and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties, but for real testing, try it on 10 or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. Absolutely. I'll bet you haven't been thinking about the guide as much as I have. Well, it'll help humanity rebuild, right? I mean, who doesn't want to help humanity? Besides, it's bound to work out better than some of my other projects. I mean, with you helping and all, how could it go wrong? Well, a little before you first arrived, one of my experiments had a little accident. I mean, how could I have predicted the centaur would think my assistant smelled tasty? But nothing bad like that could happen with this book. It's a great plan, and it'll make up for everything else. Oh, I hadn't really thought about it like that. I don't want anyone to get hurt. That's the last thing the guide should do. Well, we're just going to have to make sure it's accurate and useful and great then. You and me. Together, we can research and write a masterpiece. What do you need? Good hunting. You got caps for me? Then there ain't no problem. 
The info you're bringing back is great. Looking forward to more.
Security protocol initializing. Station security grid offline. Metro Central not responding. Threat level Omega. Lethal force authorized.
Looks that way. Must be a tourist. Look, I don't know who you are, but you don't belong here. The super mutants have overrun our brothers at the Galaxy News radio building, and we're headed there to back them up. You can tag along if you want, but keep your head down and try not to do anything stupid. You've been living under a rock? This is DC. The entire city is crawling with super mutants. Now, if you'll excuse me. There aren't a lot of safe places in the ruins right now, but the Galaxy News radio building is sort of our port in the storm. Unfortunately, the building's been hit pretty hard lately. We're their backup. So if there are no more questions, we really need to move out. The name's Sarah Lyons, Sentinel and Squad Commander of the Lyons Pride. We're with the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd do our best to hold back the super mutants in this area, but when civilians stumble into our sights, that gets a bit difficult, doesn't it? That's a negative. We've got too many local conscripts as it is. Most are undertrained and too damn trigger happy for their own good. Our very own Initiate Redden is a sterling example. Watch yourself out there. Red, on me. You're doing fine. Just follow my lead. No dead heroes today, okay? You honor us with your presence here. What's the situation? All clear, Sentinel. Five mutants released from their torment. The rest are keeping their heads down. Good. Jennings? Negative. A new recruit? Just a stray we picked up. The one that blundered into the uglies over on 42nd. Welcome! Alright, it's the usual drill. Redden, you just do whatever Paladin Vargas says and keep your mouth shut. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Redden, secure this building.
side needs me and you know it. That Citadel guard duty is such bullshit. Yeah, We're yeah, clear out we'll here. see. Stand down. Now knock that off. You're wasting ammo. Who else? Oh, Always on, come to my father to save us. We need to sweep the area. You think those were all the uglies in DC? You take the east side. I'll go west. Okay, okay. You're telling me. Once we're inside, well, then... another mess cleaned up. We'll sweep yeah. the perimeter and the inside shortly. It's not your fault, Argus. Redden was good enough for the Pride, and she proved it here today. Yeah, I know. God damn it. When we get back to the Citadel, I'll talk to the scribes. Let it be chronicled that Paladin Redden passed her test. Come on. Let's see if they've got anything to drink in this town. I guess it's my turn to thank you. Anyway, the area's secure, so you're free to talk to Three Dog if you need to. I'll take that as a compliment. If we don't try to keep the mutants from killing everyone and everything in the capital wasteland, who will? The Brotherhood does its best, but sometimes it takes a little something... special. That's where the Lion's Pride comes in. I'm sure. You can handle yourself, I'll give you that. But let's not get carried away. Well? The Brotherhood needed a secure outpost, and the guy who runs the radio station needed to not get his head ripped off by super mutants. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. Three Dog is the man in charge. He keeps that signal broadcasting pretty much single-handedly. He's, um, interesting. I'll give him that much. She died well. In the end, that's all that really matters. Watch yourself out there. Looks like it's all clear, unlocking outer doors. Pleased to meet you. I'm Knight Dillon. If there's anything you need here, I'll try and help. You got a pip boy. Tune into Galaxy News Radio and listen. It's the only radio station in the Capital Wasteland that really tells it like it is. You can head right on up. He's waiting for you. Just stay out of our way and everything will be fine. Knight Finley at your service. What can I do for you? 
This is Galaxy News Radio, the last real voice of the people of the wasteland. The Brotherhood of Steel makes sure of that. Okay, just make sure not to interfere with our operations. Welcome to the Galaxy News Radio Outpost. I'm Sergeant Wilkes, and I'm in charge here. What brings you into the D.C. area? This is the last free radio station in the entire D.C. area. The rest of the airwaves are clotted up with enclave propaganda. I wouldn't believe a word they say anywhere else. Well, the only other station that comes through nice and clear on the radio is the enclave station. All they spew is a bunch of nonsense and propaganda. Galaxy News Radio reports on what's really happening. We have a relationship with the station here. We stay in this reinforced structure and protect it from the super mutants. This is the only real safe spot in the ruins of DC. The rest of the place is crawling with those walking abominations. It's nice to have a port in the storm, you know? Sure, good luck to you. The look on your face says it all. You're wondering who the heck this guy is and why you should care. Well, prepare to be enlightened. I am Three Dog, jockey of discs and teller of truths, lord and master over the finest radio station to grace the wastes, Galaxy News Radio. And you, well, I know who you are. Heard about you leaving that vault, traveling the unknown, just like dear old dad, huh? Met him already. Yep, guilty as charged. <laughs> I don't usually have exposure to the public like this. It's nice to know someone's listening. Makes carrying on the good fight that much easier. Imagine a picture, okay? A picture of the capital wasteland. All that brick and rock. A whole lot of nothing, right? There's people out there trying to just barely make it from day to day. Fighting to stay alive and make something out of what they got. But then you've got all kinds of shit. Slavers, super mutants, raiders. They all want a slice of the pie too. And aim to take it by force. Well, holy shit. Aren't you a chip off the old block? You are as smart as your dad. Since you know all about this cause, no need to explain the effect. Let's get you on your way. Oh, come on. You're a spitting image of the guy. He's been here before, and now you're here. Doesn't take a genius to figure it out. You want to find your dad. And it just so happens his location is known to yours truly. But if you want to know more, you're going to have to contribute to the good fight. I have the name and the talent, but what I don't have are people to run out and do the stuff I need. Sure, the Brotherhood watches over the place, yeah, but that's all they can spare. Galaxy News needs a doer, someone who can go out there into that wild, woolly world and get shit done. So you game? There are different fronts to every fight. Galaxy News Radio is one of them. I need help with the old girl, though, because she's hurting. So I'd like to share, I really would. But if I help you and you just leave me hanging, I would have failed the fight. And that can't happen, Dig. You want to find your dad, and it just so happens his location is known to yours truly. He was here at Galaxy News. We had a great conversation. He's a real stand-up guy. If you want to know more, you're gonna have to contribute to the good fight. Well, your dad is some sort of scientist type, some kind of egghead or something. You really think if you find him, he'd help our cause? 
When your dad passed through here, I spent a good long time talking to him about all kinds of stuff. He mentioned some scientific mumbo jumbo which didn't make much sense to me. Hmm. Something about a project purity. He also said something about going to visit a Dr. Lee in Rivet City. Then he left in a hurry. You've never heard of Rivet City? Wow. Just wow. Well, a whole bunch of eggheads got together and turned a beached aircraft carrier into a town. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Just follow the river south from here. There's no way you can miss it. <laughs>